Hi, Hi penguins. penguins. We're gonna read another book to you. Um, and then Mrs. Keho is going to put in some yoga moves to go with our book. The book we're going to read today is called... In the Garden. What are some things that you could find in your garden Plants, or outside? animals, anything that lives outside. All right. Hi, penguins. We can't wait to read In the Garden with you. Before we get started, we are going to do a mindful strategy called grounding. And grounding is just a fancy word for bringing yourself into the present moment. We are going to use our five senses to ground ourselves before we read. So find a comfortable position where you are, inside or outside. And we are going to use our five senses to notice what's around us. So first things first, let's notice what we see. It might be something you love, something in nature. Next, let's notice what we hear. I hear the birds chirping. Next, let's notice what we smell. Next, notice what you can touch or feel around you. I feel my body sinking into the earth. And last, let's notice what you can taste. I can taste the fresh breeze. I'm gonna give you a second to think about your five senses and what is around you before we read. All right, let's see some pictures of some things that we could find in a garden. So I'm gonna hold up the book and you are going to read it. And then my assistant is going to read it. All right, here is our first page. Can you guys read that? Use the picture to help you out. Point to each word if you need to. All right, Ella, what does it say? Look at the butterfly. Yes, you can find butterflies in your garden. Thanks, Ella, that was great. Our first pose is a butterfly pose. You can take your feet and make them kiss together. Bring your back up nice and tall. Roll those shoulders back so that they're relaxed and you can flutter your wings like a butterfly. This is our butterfly pose. All right, what else can we find? All right, read this page. All right, Ella, what does this say? Look at the caterpillar. Yes. Next is our caterpillar pose. We are a long caterpillar. So what you can do is cobra. Make sure that your back is very long and your head is up. You can sink your leg into the mat. Read this page. All right, Ella, read it. Look at the spider. Ooh. We don't like spiders in our garden. Yeah, we don't like spiders in our garden. That might be helpful, but I don't want to find one in my garden. Here's that spider that some of us are scared of. Let's make our legs like a spider pose. You can take both of your legs and place them out. Now take your hands and weave them under your legs. If you'd like, you can crawl like a spider. All right, read this page. Look at the beetle. Ella helped you out. It says, look at the beetle. Next is our beetle. 
or our child's pose. We can get really round and small like a bug. So let's bring our knees in, bring all of our body parts in, bring your arms in, and place your head on the mat. Okay, read this page. All right, Ella, go ahead. Look at the grasshopper. Yes. For our grasshopper pose, we are going to do the yoga squat and hop, hop, hop like a grasshopper. If you want to put your arms down, you can go like this. Now, read. I like these guys. You like these guys? Okay. What guys do we find in our garden? Look at the snails. Snails. Here is our snail pose, which is our hardest one. First thing we do is kind of get into a child's pose. You can have your knees together, but move your feet so that your toes are on the mat. Next, put your arms down and place the top of your head on the mat. Can you see my snail pose? Oh, look at this I one. Like these guys too. All right, what does it say? Look at the worm. Here is our worm pose. We need to make our body nice and long and wiggly like a worm. So what we can do is stand up nice and tall and mountain. Hold over like a nice hanging worm. This is our forward fold. Feel that hang. Let your head hang. And let's roll back up like a wiggly worm. One vertebrae at a time. Last will be our worm head. And our last friend we can find in the garden is look, a... Look at the bird. Look at the bird. The bird pose, get ready to fly. Let's stand up and we can anchor our feet really straight wrong but now we're ready to fly like a bird bring those arms back and lean forward you can find much more things in your garden than just these these are just some of them yes those are just some of the things you can find in your garden all right well i hope you had fun and we will see you real soon penguins bye, bye. thanks ella and mrs hamill i can't wait to explore my garden with my five senses Another thing that you can do, penguins, to look in your garden and around your house is to take some toilet paper rolls that you have at home. You can use these to make five senses binoculars and notice with your five senses. Bye, penguins.